it's just every time staggering to stand in front of a complete dinosaur. And we have beautiful. This is a Dryosaurus and it's coming out of the late Jurassic period. 70% complete. Mm -hmm. Most of the bigger bones are here, like the femur, the whole leg, mm -hmm. the foot, the hip, some vertebras, and also the shoulder girdle. It's all complete. It's wonderful. And yeah. also from the head, which is very, very important. Uh -huh. This is a very dark chocolate brown, beautiful, consistent patina all over the skeleton, which I think is just gorgeous. Yeah, it's the iron in the ground that gives the color to the bones. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the quality of the preparation, what kind of indication gives you this skeleton of the quality of the prep work that was done? Oh, it's always very, very difficult to prep tiny little bones like, uh, like these ones, mm -hmm. especially the vertebra column with all the little spines on the sides and on the, on the, the top of the vertebras. The, they're so fri fragile, they're so thin. Uh -huh. And it's an amazing job that they did with uh, the preparation of that dinosaur. And it's got such beautiful details on the surface, all the, the little cracks you could see and, uh, and the, you know, this part here, Mm -hmm. of the femur that's where the muscle has attached yes. and it's very seldom that there are that complete okay i think it's wonderful so many and so many details that tells us about the life of this creature mm -hmm. so the dryosaurus um as you told me before was a sprinter so it had very strong um uh, legs yes it's always an indica indication when the uh, tibia and the fibula mm -hmm. are longer than the femur. The, this tells us that that was a sprinter. Okay, so this guy is more than double as old as the T-Rex and the Triceratops we had last time, mm -hmm. so about 150 million years old. Exactly. Which mm -hmm. makes it even more amazing how uh, complete the skeleton is. And it's not a composite, so it's um, uh, the dig site indicates it to be from all the bones from one animal mm -hmm. and very important uh, and your favorite piece of course, the skull. What can you tell us about the skull? The original parts have also teeth inside, mm -hmm. you can see that. And um, it only the sides of the jaw have the teeth and yes. in the front there was a, a beak. So this animal was a plant eater, it's a, her a herbivore. Yes. And um, the beak is a uh, part of the skull is still here, but the horn part mm -hmm. that that's the part that is not here anymore. It's so. not fossilized. No, <clears throat> which uh, it's carot, it's carotene. It, yes, which is <clears throat> again a beautiful uh, illustration of how these are pretty much birds. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you can also tell from the arms, it's got five fingers, mm -hmm. so it also indicates it's a almost the same skeleton as a as a bird. Okay. Yeah. And uh, probably they also had feathers. They didn't have a skin like a lizard. They they probably had feathers. Yeah, I love to imagine this guy in like covered in, in colorful feathers. It's yeah. just amazing. An absolutely staggering piece and. Um, it is. Everybody is uh, welcome to come um, to the auction house beginning at the beginning of June to see our Drive Soros live. And thank you so much for helping us out here. You're welcome. <laughs>